Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is all about dockers. Dockers are real important. A lot of uh, new people don't use them. I didn't use them at first. They're very, 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 very important. So we're going to talk about how to open dockers and more, add more. So go to Windows and down to Dockers, and then pick a docker, and we're going to go to Object, which is Object Properties in some versions. <clears throat> and you get this highlighted object. And so here is our title bar that tells you what or what Docker it is. But you can add more Dockers by hitting this plus sign. And we could go uh, join curves. We could open the text Docker. We could open the contour Docker and see they're adding them. So this is my newest one. And you can see it's uh, highlighted in a light blue. If I want to get rid of that, I can just hit this X. So that's how you remove the Docker. If you want to close all the Dockers, all you have to do is hit that X right there. But go to Windows, Dockers, and let's add a few more by hitting the plus sign. Let's add the, oh, the join curves back, uh, contour back. And you can have more than one Docker open. So your active Docker is your yellow or the blue, your inactive dockers are the ones that are just kind of grayed out. You can move the dockers around, but here's your title bar that tells you to contour. Uh, close the docker, we've already talked about that. If you just want to close it and not have any dockers open, but you've still got dockers there, as long as you don't hit this X, they'll be there, so we can hit the object. Now, if we want to move and kind of have two dockers open at once, you can just take this. No, you can't. We've got to take it right. Let's take the contour one and just move it over. You can kind of see the gray box and set it there. So now I have two dockers open. I have the object manager and I have the contour open. I don't ever really do that, but it is available. So you can move the docker and then just get rid of it. You can either just close it down or shut it down completely. So now we just have two dockers open. You know, there's your join curves. It tells you what the Docker is. Now, a lot of things are going to be, when you open them up, are not going to be, they're going to be grayed out. Let's open a line and distribute. Now we have the line and distribute, but it's grayed out. There's nothing there because there's nothing for it to line and distribute. As soon as we do an object, then we could select them all and align them any which way we want. So that's a little bit of information about Dockers. Uh, try to start using them. There are some things that are in here that are just great. Like the corner Docker and open it up. You'll have to actually have to kind of shut that one down. But there's your corner Docker that's gonna, you know, do radiuses and scallops and stuff on objects that aren't um, curves already. Anyway, so that's just a little information about Dockers. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.